Hello world, this is Lockpicking Dev. Today I have an EVA DPI and it is another EVA with a passive sidebar. Um, this is a fun little pick, mainly being because of the warding here. It's just a real pain in the butt to get a high pin up past that little middle section there. Um, especially with everything that we got going on down below. So we're going to uh, give this a shot. This does have some pretty high low bidding, so uh, Wish me luck. Um, only five pins though. That's four, there's three, two, Trying to get five. I'm not quite sure if that's it right there or not. I think it is. Yeah. Let a little tension off actually. I just realize I'm using way too much. And my angle is off as well now that I'm using the bottom of the keyway. It feels like I'm back on. That's the hard part because the bottom of the keyway only gets you so far when lifting these pins. So you do have to switch to using that warding. However, that warding is just a real, real pain. Pin one, feels like it's binding, but oh, I just dropped a bunch trying to do it, so screw that now. There we go, that's been five. Got a little rotation there. Three is good, and I think two is good. I just heard this drop more while lifting one. I was going to continue. Maybe I just hit the warding wrong again. It's fantastic. There we go.
not feeling a whole lot. Um, let's switch profiles real quick. See if that makes a difference. That might be what I needed. It's a different feel. go there's one big false set I know that's one I got to this point last time I believe unless well, you know what it had to be one because I'm right here in the front when I hit that Try not to overthink it here. It's gonna get it lifted, I think. Get myself at a different angle, see if I can manage this. Actually, I can go back to the. No, oh, that is actually, that is the profile I was wanting to use now. Shit. <laughs> okay, let's check everything else just to be safe. Maybe something else needs to nudge to get that spool. Is that five? That's that's warding, I think. I think it's a lower one. I think it's probably... So I'm gonna make sure... <coughs> Excuse me. In fact, we get a little bit more shallow of a hook. Instead of trying to trying too damn hard. That's it right there, I believe. I think that's what we needed. Two. There we go. Two. And... Check everything through here again. Yep, I need to go back through again, it feels like. That's super low. Set everything. So I just set a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> so I feel like that big of a false set. That's not right. That's not... I remember last time I opened it, one was the last last thing I needed, and that was that big false set we got there. Maybe five in the back. Yep, I think so. Get under it properly. Son of a... Alright. 
just switch picks for that. Okay, I think that was five. There we go, and one to get her open. Jeez, I'm surprised I got that one in the back one because I had to, the profile I used was better, but it was 25 thousandths. All right, I have everything gutted, and you'll see that it does have some master pins in it. So it was on one, two, and five here, which means it only made it a little bit easier in my opinion because I mean standard pins are easy at this point and yeah that's made it easier for me but yeah there's a few spools in there at least and here's the sidebar let me show you how that works oh my my pad came apart so the sidebar here as you can see the three notches line up with the three at the tip there, two at the bottom, and it fits just like that on the key. And so if we put our key inside of our there we go, put our key in there, and see the the uh, sidebar grooves on the key and this basically there's no spring or anything to it this just lines up exactly with those notches again so we just slide it in it doesn't get caught there we go and you can see then it is flush and so that's how that works there's nothing else to it um, it's just one of those scary looking keys that really doesn't, um, you know, really make a whole big difference. Uh, again, you can see the core uh, doesn't really have any special holes or features on it, but always use the shim just in case. Anyways, that was the Ava DPI, and thanks for watching.